Hello, Lauren and Russell Mark here on behalf of the Australian Clay Target Association. The very first thing you need to do before you start your journey into the world of clay target shooting is to determine your dominant eye. Don't confuse eye dominance with your handedness. You can swing a golf club on your right side, but you may still be left eye dominant. Many of the great home run hitters in baseball and a lot of the cricket opening batsmen that were fantastic were statistically like this. 28% of people that are right handed are left eye dominant. A good percentage of the group that Russell just mentioned should therefore consider starting the sport of clay target shooting as someone who would shoulder the shotgun from their left side. Why is that you may ask? Well, if you can do this, then you can comfortably shoot with both eyes open because your master eye will be aligned down the barrel and this will be advantageous. We'll go into more detail why that may be of benefit to you in a later video in this series. It's not the end of the world if you physically can't shoot with both eyes open, as there have been many champions in our sport that close or cover their eye that is the opposite to the shoulder they are mounting the shotgun to. Here's a quick test to determine your dominant eye. Stand facing an object that you can see way off on the horizon. With both eyes open, use either your left or right index finger to point at that object just like you would instinctually point at a plane in the sky. Now close your left eye. Try it again using your other index finger. If you find yourself still pointing at that object, then there is a good chance you're right eye dominant. And if you feel comfortable mounting the gun to your right shoulder, then you have no excuse to ever close your left eye. Did you hear what she just said? There is no excuse in any form of shotgun shooting for closing an eye if your handiness is the same side as your dominant eye. If you're guilty of this, then change now. Clay target shooting is a pointing game, not an aiming game. If you're like myself and find that when you close your left eye and are no longer pointing your index finger at the object on the horizon, then you are most likely left eye dominant. Do a quick check by once again facing the object on the horizon and then naturally point either of your index fingers at it. Now close your right eye. If you're still pointing at the object, then you're left eye dominant. Only about 8% of people are left-handed and left eye dominant. And only 4% of humans are left-handed and right eye dominant, which I've always found quite odd. You're just like a living encyclopedia. And about 1% of people have varying dominance. This can be caused from a variety of reasons. Health issues such as diabetes, trauma from an accident. <laughs> people that suffer from migraines is another example. Also varying dominance can occur with people. I naturally mount the gun on my left side, so this allows me to keep both eyes open. There are, however, people that are right-handed and left eye dominant that just can't mount their gun on their left side. I can't do anything left-handed, so I'm grateful I don't fall into that category. If you can't swap shoulders, then you'll be forced to close an eye, or better still, tape over your shooting glasses with a patch. I prefer to tape someone's master eye who falls into this category with a small piece of smudge sticky tape, ensuring they are blocking their dominant eye. On behalf of the ACTA, we trust this advice will help you enjoy our great sport.